Hi, Linda. I'm Good Megan O'Rourke. I'm Megan O'Rourke here with CCTV and Linda. You came in. How did you find us? How did you? Well, the, fa the adopted father of somebody who I witnessed murdered at the hands of cops encouraged me to come here. And I'm not lying to me. It was a murder. It was something out of Dr. Shivago. And I'm not keeping my mouth shut. Mm -hmm. Well, Linda, what, tell us a little bit about you. Who are you and what's your background? Well, I'm a mother and a freelance artist and musician. I carry my flute around and I play for a little extra pocket money. I'm on disability because I can't handle stress. I've, I've had a lot of trauma in my life and it helps me with trauma, but... Um, it is true, right? That like that trauma response to stress is kind of intense, isn't it? Yes. Do you want to share or talk about that? Not necessarily a trauma, but well, you're like, what's your experience? Well, I had PTSD I, um, five years after, like a Vietnam vet, and I would wake up and go to the local fire station and talk about it at night. Mm -hmm. And um, eventually, I can handle part-time jobs, but not a full-time job. Yeah. And I. But I became a mother too, and I'm on disability, and it helps. And you live here in Vermont, in Burlington? Yes, I do. Yeah, is this where, have you lived here for a while? Well, I was here 20 years ago before my daughter was born, and I was at COTS, and they did help me with housing, but my daughter was knocking on my door in Oregon, and um, I answered it. I have a lovely 23-year-old Heather, and she's visiting Labor Day. But um, I was, my brother and sister were Harvard people in Cambridge, Mass. And I felt that was their world. Yep. And so I came back here and COTS never unadopts anybody. And I'm, I'm with a different agency, but I knew that they were nearby and that I would get housing eventually. Did you feel taken care of by COTS? Definitely, even if, I wasn't directly involved, but they, they're an excellent agency and they would never, um, they would never unadopt anybody there and they would always help people with housing no matter what. Mm -hmm. But, um, what's your experience been like living in Burlington? Well, it's been excellent until recently and I'm afraid it's since Emma took office. She said she was going to step up cops. And um, I heard that that was going to result in a lot of adversary, and I did. I, I saw people herded out of the, one of the garages in the morning, and I said, somebody's going to die, and they did. She went to the hospital, I learned later. The fire people verified it. and. Um, I know that death is a kindness up to a point, but that life is sacred, and I don't think in the first place that it should have happened. And sorry to say I, I, um, that it happened. I'm very, very sorry to say that it happened in the first place. And mm -hmm. I don't stand, I'm not standing for it. What else is your experience? Are you downtown a lot? Are you, you yeah. live in this? Yeah. What has been, what, what's it like for you? Well, Megan, even though um, I'm in housing and disability, I'm budgeting my money with rent, and it's affordable housing. It's a beautiful location, and um, I have gas and electricity. But what helps is a, um, a coffee on, at Muddy Waters now and then. And since Emma took office, there's no leeway. You can't go. I used to get a, a coffee and a bagel on the house. And they said, no, we can't. Um, I think it's very few individuals who are malign. And most homeless people, they, they want to help. They want to give back. They're, as I said, I think there should be lockers. And then I used to be able to use a bathroom at the yoga studios, and they won't let me. Um, that's ridiculous in my book. There's such a thing called human dignity. Mm -hmm. And I was offered to teach art classes 
a, a while back. I, I did a beautiful tapestry for the food shelf here. The rich did not want to offer supplies, I heard at the time, mm -hmm. which is ridiculous. I see a lot of good artists out there. They don't have to do graffiti on the walls. They could come, I'm known as mom a lot. They could come to who mom. Who calls you mom? Huh? When you say you're known as mom, by who? The other homeless people. Uh -huh. They could come to me. I could give classes and art or give them supplies, something to do. It's crazy not, not to, you would go crazy not to have any, like Oscar Wilde. There, you would go crazy without something to do. I, I don't think there's enough help and hands on hand for these individuals. And I see a lot of people who could excel in, men, in many job fields. I do. And hands on hand, one on one. What would you want to say to folks that are like in a position to be helpful? What, I mean, what more do reach you want? Reach out, reach out and it'll be gratifying for this whole community. Reach out. There are so many people who are talented out there, musicians and artists. Just reach out and, mm -hmm. and don't, even if you're wealthy, who cares? We're all human beings. It's gratifying in many ways. Don't torment these individuals. They need help. They're just, they're just, look, we're all looking for ourselves. We're all searching for ourselves and, and hurting and harming individuals isn't the answer or the solution. Do you want to play your flute? Oh, sure. I, can, I carried a child of three tribes and I could be considered for a native reservation and I play my flute and um, here, this is called Native Song. you play sometimes out and about? Yes, but unfortunately uh, people don't carry cash and <laughs> I like to get art supplies. I, yeah. I like to, um, I do tapestries and I like to go to Michael's and get like stilos, je parle français, I'm half French. Uh -huh. I like to get pens and pencils and paints now and then. But um, I'm kind of sort of known and I'm on the brink of making it big time with celebrities. I've, but I've been at it for 12 to 10 years. Yeah. It's not overnight. Yeah. And as I said, I see a lot of talent and individuals around and they could, they could soar and do just the same as I am doing. Mm -hmm. And I have faith in it and I have faith in Burlington but violence upon lesser human beings is, an, is not the solution. Mm -hmm. what, 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 other, what other hopes do you have for yourself? Oh, um, I'm very humble and I'm with God Almighty and I'm suffisant as it is. I'm sufficient as it is. Um, I just want these other individuals um, to be housed all or taken care of or offered jobs. That's what my goal is. I, I don't want it. I don't want anybody to come to harm in my book. Mm -hmm. It's not about me. It's about other people. You spend a lot of time downtown, right? Well, I have to get out every day. Yep. Yeah. And what, um, you know, there's sort of a lot of conversation about people feeling unsafe downtown or there's 
difficulties or conflicts. What's your experience? What's your perspective on that? I think it's on part to Emma taking office and stepping up cops. And I've asked the Howard Center to help other individuals who will be name, nameless. I've asked them for three to four months, a certain individual, I think that she needs help and she hasn't been helped. Mm. So you're meeting and connecting with people who are on the streets who need, and so you, you're familiar with or you know people. Well, yeah, because <clears throat> they, they lash out on whatever and I don't want to take the brunt. And you know, I, I learned recently, I see needles and syringes all around and I was talking to friends. I think that that's cool. There should be a designated spot. I don't like to see needles and syringes all around. They can shoot up. I heard that they, there isn't a designated shot spot. It should be like Holland, and then at this designated spot, they can meet with workers. I personally do not want to run the risk of um, stepping on a needle or a syringe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and I didn't know that that was the case. I talked about it recently, that in Holland, there are designated spots. People do want to quit their heroin, heroin addiction. Mm -hmm. and there are designated spots and they meet with workers. And here they hide. It's out in the open. It's La La Land. Hello, Bernie. It's La La Land. There are going to be addicts no matter what. We have to be more like Europe. We can't hide things. I was even suggesting grow marijuana in City Hall Park. Let people score opium poppies in City Hall Park. I'm just, I am so tired of seeing a child can step on a needle and syringe. Hello. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's continuing. It's not gonna, it's not gonna cease until I, I feel that there's a designated spot. And it's not, nothing to be ashamed of. Addiction in many forms happen. It's what is to be ashamed of is not taking action against abuses and addictions in society. Mm -hmm. Are there places in this community that you make connections with other people and you feel connected to other people in the community? Well, on behalf of myself, I come from a family of artists, actually in France. I'm half French. And I want to have a gallery opening one day at the BCA. And I'm very much connected to the workers in general at the BCA. Um, so there. So the City Arts Gallery yes. is a good connection for you. For me. And a place that you feel connected. Definitely. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. And um, what is tell what's what is happening there? What how do you feel connected to that? Well, that's what I was raised with. Mm -hmm. But whatever these other individuals are raised with, we should elaborate on. We should find out and and. Um, have helped them. How would you do that? How would you find out? How would you connect with other people who are living either without homes or? Well, that's what I'm doing. It's a start coming here. Everything yeah. is a start. Yeah. I once thought at one time that one church should be taken down and goats and chickens there. And when people have problems about relationships, they can feed the goats and the chickens mm -hmm. and, or pat a kitty cat and forget about their problems. But I don't know if that's... Oh, take down one, tr like take City Hall down and put in a... a why not? <laughs> sure, why not City Hall? <laughs> yeah. Instead of, that's like a ch church in many aspects. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love Ben Franklin. He was one of my favorite founding fathers. Uh -huh. And at the times there were chickens roaming around and they can collect eggs, they can raise corn, they can raise beans. Yeah. And then I've been to Northern Pakistan, there are water buffalo walking around, there are camels. We're right next to camels hump. 
in Egypt, there are camels walking. It's named after a camel. Uh -huh. Camels originated yeah. in Egypt. Um, too many cars, too many cars, actually. And I thought that with Miro, I thought that they were going to be limited around um, the the City Hall Park, the main part of Burlington. Um, that there's pollution involved. I don't think that um, with the parking meters they earn that much money. I, at times we should be, bring donkeys back, donkeys and um, carts to pick up the garbage around Church Street mm -hmm. instead of these noisy um, garbage collector trucks in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, there's talk about figuring out ways of consolidating trash collection, less trucks, less traffic. Yeah. Wow. What's your experience with that, the noise? What brings out the most noise for you? Um, a lot in general, a yeah. lot. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, uh, I do enjoy across from the BCA listening to the music, the jazz and stuff. It's it's in the early morning hours, and um, is there anything else you want to share with folks, or if you could speak direct? You have a camera there. You are welcome to speak directly. Well, it could to be, this camera here. Yeah, we could bring back glass milk bottles. Uh huh. Have goats. We can milk goats yeah. roaming around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have I just um, I'm just brainstorming. And, yeah. And if anybody else can put their two cents in, that's greatly appreciated. But as I said, violence is not the solution or discrimination. Yep. And oh, actually, I'm half French in Paris. They have peace wars. And they're in their little round things, and they always have water running through them. And women go into them, and they squat. They have one thing an outhouse for business, but even around Notre Dame, and there's always water running through. The women squat. They do a pee pee, and the men stand, and they're round metal things, and it's called a pissoir. Instead of all this big to do about. A bathroom, an outhouse. There wasn't a big to do in the 1700s. Mm -hmm. Would you like to play a song to close? One more or, Yeah, one more sure. song. And um, if there's anything else you want to add before you play your song, Linda, thanks um, for joining us. That's peace and love throughout. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. So Thank you, much. Linda. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Thanks for thanks for watching. I hope I made a difference. <laughs>